in this video we are going to install the super fast emulator Jenny Motion. Now till now guys we were using the default emulator. Now that emulator you must have faced many a times a problem regarding starting the emulator. It is taking too much time to start the emulator, process the app and run it. Now we are going to get rid of all those problems. We are going to install the Jenny Motion software in our PC. So what are the steps involved? First we have to download the Oracle Virtual Box. Second we have to download the Jenny Motion software. And last we are going to get the plugin for our as we did. So let me show you one by one how to perform all these steps. Now first simply go to google.com and just type Oracle Virtual Box. Now here we go. This is our link virtualbox org wiki downloads. Just click on it. This is how our website looks like virtualbox and here you will find all the platform packages that you require to install in your system. If you are having windows then go for this, Linux, then Solaris. Now my system is Windows, so simply click on this and download it. Our download has started. Now here I have already downloaded it. This is my virtual box, so just open it. Hit on next, now again next. Create a shortcut on desktop, right, create a shortcut, no. Hit on next, it is a warning sign. Just ignore it. Now hit yes and click on install. It is quite straight away process guys. Just next next. Agree to the terms and agreement and here we go. It will be installed. Now hit on finish. Now we have successfully installed our virtual box in our system. Now our next step. Now our next step is to install our Jenny Motion software. So what we're gonna do, just go to jennymotion.com. Right now go to the sign in page. Now guys, if you have not signed up as of now, then please fill up this form and, and register yourself for free. And after this, just enter your email ID and your password and get logged in. Now after logging in, it will automatically detect your operating system. My operating system is Windows 64 bit. Now if your Windows is Mac OS or Linux, then it will automatically display here. So just hit on download. Now after downloading, here I have already downloaded it. Here is my downloaded file. So just hit open this. Select your language, hit on next. Now this is our path where our Jenny Motion software files are going to be stored. Jenny Mobile slash Jenny Motion inside the C drive. Fine. Now hit on next. Hit on next. Create a desktop icon. Yes, I want an icon. Now hit on next. Now install it. It will straight away install your Jenny Motion in your system. Now here it will ask launch Jenny Motion as of now we don't require to launch it. Just unselect it, hit finish. Just search for Jenny Motion in your search tab. Now after you start your Jenny Motion it will ask you have no virtual device available yet. You want to add a new one? Absolutely. Hit on yes. Now here hit on connect. Now username password your email address whatever fine now hit on connect now here are all the custom phones that you can see here now I will just select the best one the resolution I think I should go for I think this one yeah pretty cool API 16 not a props hit on next now these are the configurations, screen size, then memory size, then screen inch 4.0 and this is actually the API 16. Fine. So if you want you can go for go for other API versions also as per your requirements. Now hit on next. After you set up your virtual device, hit on finish. Fine. 
Now after this simply go to settings. Now inside the settings go to this ADB. Now here inside the ADB if this option is selected which is by default then please use custom Android SDK tools. Now here you have to provide the path of your Android SDK tools. My Android SDK tools was saved where inside the D drive. This is the path guys which I have provided. So just browse your path. Just browse your path of your SDK and select choose and set your path right here. Then hit OK. Fine. Now I have already set it so I will just cancel it. Now here we go. Just hit on play. Your Google Nexus S4 will run. So after installing the softwares now it's time to install the plugin for Jenny Motion for our Android Studio. So let us click on the plugin and here you are going to get three options. Just click on the second option browse repositories. Right? Click on it. You will get a bunch of plugins which is by default downloadable from the server inside the Android Studio. Now our target is Jenny Motion, which you can find down the side. If you have too much time then you can use the scroll bar. If you don't then please type Jenny Motion at the top in the search bar. Right? And here we go, you will get the Jenny Motion, and on the right hand side, you will get the option to install the plugin for Jenny Motion. It is having some around these many downloads, these many ratings, right? We don't have to bother about that. Simply click on this install plugin, and it is showing would you like to download the install plugin Jenny Motion? Yes, of course. Click on it, and simply wait for the Jenny Motion to get downloaded. Yes, pretty awesome, pretty fast. It's already downloaded and then it is showing restart Android Studio. Yes, restart the Android Studio and it is showing restart Android Studio to activate changes in plugin. Yes, restart. So our Android Studio is now again restarting. So our Android Studio has restarted. Now let's click on any project on the left hand side. Just to check our Jenny Motion has been installed or not. So here at the top in the toolbar we can see one more icon on the right hand side which actually represents Jenny Motion Device Manager. Simply click on it and it is going to show you all the emulators that you have installed while installing the Jenny Motion software in your PC. So let us start our first Jenny Motion emulator. Let's click on start and trust me guys it is hardly going to take 10 to 15 seconds to start the emulator unlike the default emulator that takes around usually 1 minute or 30 seconds like that. And bam here our Jenny motion has been started. Pretty awesome. Here we go Jenny motion for the personal use. Yes. Pretty fast emulator guys, you can see how flexible it is, very nice, yeah, so, so enjoy using this emulator. So meanwhile if you like what you saw, please subscribe to this channel and make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter and catch you guys in the next video.